All right, guys, so what way is my DAC going to be changing during my cut? Now, as you saw, whilst I was bulking, I was on extremely high calories. So right now, it's about reducing those overall calories and really focusing on those carbs. Now, the main thing that I'm going to be doing to really change my diet is two key parts. And this is, this is all I'm doing for the moment right now. As time progresses, things will be changing. So... Right now, as you as you've seen my meals throughout my day in the life of a team bodybuilder, I've been big ass portions of carbohydrates with my with my protein sources, with my vegetables and my fat sources. The only thing that I'm going to be doing is reducing the portion sizes of those carbohydrates, increasing the portion sizes of the vegetables with that meal because vegetables are high in fiber and extremely low in carbs, which really helps keep you full or really keep those calories low. Now, some people will be thinking, how the fuck can you use that type of principle? Because every day you could be eating something different. It's hard to judge the overall calories that you're getting in. That is true. However, the past two times that I've got cut, I've used this method. It has worked very well and it is extremely easy. And that's the thing about getting results. You have to make it easy for yourself to do. So for me, First of all, reducing my overall size of my meals is going to play a big part in that. And the second part is, is I'm going to be eating a lot cleaner. You know, I'm not, I'm going to be choosing a lot of whole grain, you know, the brown rice products, the brown, the whole wheat pasta, the whole wheat bread, some sweet potatoes, even the white potatoes, you know, the white potatoes still have a lot of starch and fiber in them, which is really going to help fill you up. I'm also going to be staying away from processed foods. Whenever you eat a lot of processed meats, processed carbs, it's really easy to overindulge in them. But see, whenever you're cooking your meats from scratch, whenever you're cooking your carbohydrates from scratch, it's really easy to monitor the amount of fats are going to be in that meal, the amount of carbs are going to be in that meal. So by eating clean, reducing the carbs, that's all I'm going to be doing. And it's really that simple. Now, obviously, as time goes on, things are going to have to change. Now, once I know all, they get it as cross as quick as possible. First of all, what I'm going to be doing is reducing my overall carbohydrate intake. And I'm going to know how much I need in a day. However, the main thing that I'm going to be doing is focusing on trying to keep those calories as low as I can in a day. Keep the protein high and the calories low and the carbohydrates low. And the way I'm going to be doing that is monitoring how my body feels. If I have a certain amount of carbohydrates I want to hit in a day, well, I'm just going to try and keep as low as I can, but let that be the maximum. Rather than aim for that level of carbohydrates, I'm going to try and keep as low as I can, but make sure that I still am functioning at my best and recovering as quickly as I want to recover. Now, as time goes on, and if I'm, if I'm not dropping the amount of weight that I want to drop, I'm going to reduce those portion sizes even more. Now, as it comes towards the end of my cut, I'm going to start to add in more protein, and if I need to, start dropping the fat. But it's important that you keep your fats high to help with hormone production. It's a lot easier to drop away those carbs. We don't just go zero carbs. It's going to be over time. We're going to start to really get those results. Now, the best way to see what way my diet changes is by watching my day in the cut videos. That's why I've started this series so you can see what way my training is going. And you can see the type of meals that I'm eating and the way they start to change. There's no need to make this video too long. I'm just going to be reducing portion sizes, eating cleaner. What I won't be doing is I won't be cutting my macros. I don't use if it fits your macros. For, for, for right now, I'm not going to be using anything like carb backloading or fasting. However, I might throw in those type of styles of carb backloading and fasting to really maybe change the way my I feel like my results are coming. Maybe just to do something different and experiment. However, for right now, it's going to be very basic and simple. I'm just going to continue to progress with that. There you have it, guys.